Hello and welcome to the Cryptocurrency News Channel. Now, we have some news and I'm going to draw up some theories about this because China's ban has made Uniswap coins surge by 20 full percent. And it's one of the few coins that's up majorly today out of the major cryptocurrencies. You can see it's up 34.95%. So that article is a bit old. It is now up over 30%. It's up by over a third. And um, obviously, you know what that means. What I theorize is that a lot of these Chinese bureaucrats, you know, the ones who made the rules, are actually using Uniswap. See, now they can't actually use any like legit, well, not, I wouldn't say legitimate, but any centralized exchange or even risk using their VPNs on any centralized exchange. But now they're VPNing into Uniswap to trade coins because you know, they are fat cats. They're bureaucrats, they're bureaucratic fat cats. So they want that money from crypto. Even Xi Jinping himself might actually be using Uniswap because he can avoid detection by his own party. That's right, in the rules that he actually created. So basically like, if th my theory is true and they are actually using Uniswap, Basically, they want to actually make profits off Bitcoin while they don't want anyone else in China to actually have this tool to maybe make profits in cryptocurrencies and also port money out of the country. You know how all those like rich Chinese kids come to American universities, they buy American properties like this is probably one of the ways they actually port money out of China by using decentralized exchanges like Uniswap. And the thing is, China is completely helpless against this because it's really hard for them to enforce the VPN thing. Like they go back and forth that like VPNs are legal, VPNs are illegal, but the people using VPNs honestly don't really care. And they can try to like breed this toxic, na toxic nationalism all they want about not loving your country if you like, you know, buy Bitcoin or use these DEXs. The people that are making money don't really care. So the policy might actually be in place, but the people that they're actually targeting, the people using these, um, are not going to be affected because they're going to continue using VPNs and Uniswap, which is completely anonymous. And the thing is, not many of them are likely to get captured because by my guess, a lot of them are the bureaucrats themselves and they're not in any hurry to throw themselves in jail. So that's why Uniswap has risen 20%. Yes, I believe that a lot of it is that other countries and people in other countries are afraid that their countries are going to ban cryptocurrency, but I don't really think that's all that likely. I think some of the swallow from Uniswap is actually from Chinese investors running the Uniswap. And like I said, some of those investors are probably the bureaucrats themselves. They even might be Xi Jinping himself uh, going around his own ban. It, I really wouldn't pa put it past him or his, or his associates to do this because there's tens of millions of dollars, hundreds of millions of dollars to be made in cryptocurrency. And there's no way they're going to let like a little rule stop them. And like I said, since they control the government, since they actually control the government anyways, they're not going to be investigating themselves and throwing themselves in jail. Like every once in a while, every couple of years, China does this like one thing where they investigate one of these bureaucrats for corruption, even though they're all doing it. Um, and then they like kind of send them off to prison or do some like symbolic thing to them to show the pub public that they're actually like, you know, rooting out corruption. But realistically, most people know that's complete BS. It's just more of a symbolic showing. And I bet like a lot of their bureaucrats are actually in on this as well. You know, like a lot of them like make rules and then they go break those rules and do the very things that they actually set rules against. That's how politics actually works in, uh, there anyways. It's kind of how politics works all around the world, but more so in like authoritarian dictatorships. They make the rules that say you can't do something and then the bureaucrats themselves go do it and make a lot of money. And the thing is, yes, they are afraid that uh, Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies are actually going to challenge the Chinese yuan. But the bureaucrats themselves are like a very small part of the population. They themselves are not going to let that fear stop them from actually making money themselves. So that's kind of like my theory right there, why Uniswap actually pumped 30 something percent. Yes, it is from uh, people in general um, who are afraid that their countries are going to shut down cryptocurrency and Bitcoin. But I think part of it is actually from China, uh, the bureaucrats and the people who actually made the rules themselves, not being able to uh, do anything in centralized exchanges or trade otherwise, going to Uniswap and actually trading themselves. And that's probably, and their money is probably boosting cryptocurrency a lot. Because, you know, those are the people whose kids are in like really expensive American colleges who are ever wanting to use corruption to actually further their own pockets. And they're definitely not above uh, using, you know, uh, using a VPN to trade on Uniswap. So that is the news for today. Let me know what you think. Like and subscribe and hit that bell notifications button. Thank you and have a nice day, people.